right. Welcome, there we Robert. Are. There we are. <laughs> awesome. Robert is going to be one of 33 authors. Yes, we added an extra author. So there's 33 authors that will be there Saturday, November 30th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Kensington Mill Falls event. That is in Milford, Michigan. And when you go to GPS it, go behind the party store. <laughs> um, they share land, so they have the same address. So welcome, Robert. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so you're going to be bringing two book titles to the yep. event. Share with us about those two book titles. Let me, let me, well, let me, let me back that up just a moment because actually there will be a third. There oh. will, I'll have a few of those available. Um, this, the, the book that um, I originally entered into the, cover contest mm -hmm. is the one that I just completed. It is the ninth book in a series that I began as a ghostwriter four years ago. Mm -hmm. I wrote the first two titles under a pen name. The, uh, the first six titles, the seventh title, I shared the cover with my, my pen name and my name as a co-writer, co-author. And then uh, went out on my own, and the next two volumes, including this latest one, are in my name. But it's all the same series with the same characters. And uh, if someone were to read the first all the way through, it's quite an ongoing plot that even I didn't see coming. So uh, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah. So it is an action adventure mm -hmm. with a healthy dose of science fiction. And um, I, I couldn't be happier. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, the turnout at the festival and I've never, I've never done such a thing before. It'll be interesting, I'm sure. And I've really enjoyed listening to the other the other interviews, and I'm I'm really looking forward to meeting a bunch of other authors. I have not done I haven't done that networking. Okay. So I've been kind of on my own. So the book cover that you had run, referenced for the one that is in the book cover contest, I'm going to mm -hmm. share that. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Always good to share oh, that so that people that, know. That's not, Mandy Jo, let, let me correct you. That's not the last one I sent you. Um, I, oh, okay. I, um, but we'll, we'll figure that out because you have, <laughs> you have the correct one in the, in the voting area. Okay. So I just grabbed the wrong one. Look at this the, one. <laughs> yeah. If, it, it, uh, uh, there's not much difference, but, but okay. there is a difference. There okay. Is a difference. That's, so the correct one is in the artwork the, that's in correct. the contest. <laughs> yep. We got the right one in there. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So the people know which one to vote for. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you started out ghostwriting. Um, have you gone and done any other projects prior to that or yeah. was that your start? Yeah, I did a lot of shorter works. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, ghostwriting uh, for clients around the world, which was a very interesting experience and uh, got me into the discipline of writing mm -hmm. um, and, and, and networking with people online. And I, I worked with uh, clients around the world, quite frankly, mm -hmm. for about for about two years, I did that. And they were shorter works of uh, 1,500 to uh, 5,000 words, short stories mm -hmm. that I really enjoyed. And I, I guess I kind of got my, my chops that way, that to where I got to the point where Though that wasn't nearly enough words to tell the stories I wanted to tell. 
<laughs> which was which was a dynamic I hadn't anticipated. I, I didn't mm -hmm. realize that it would. I, I really felt myself growing, uh, and my imagination growing to mm -hmm. where I thought I can't do that in I can't do that in ten thousand. I can't do that in twelve thousand. <laughs> Uh, not to do it justice, you know. Right. And then finally, uh, the reason why I am bringing three titles, this the, this one this one we're talking about being the ninth and fi uh, the, the latest title. Mm -hmm. books, books seven and eight were the result of the fact that the plot that I had for book seven, I very quickly realized I couldn't tell in one book. Oh, uh, okay. The client had client had hired me for 60,000 word books. Mm. And, I, and I very early on, as the, as the plot began to come together in my head, I thought, I can't, I can't move through this story that quickly. Mm -hmm. So I immediately knew it was going to be a two book series. Yeah. So it's been, it's, it's been um, rewarding, fascinating, fun. Mm -hmm. uh, surprising and surprising it's this is this is a surprising thing that i i've wanted to write all my life i've been i've been in communications i've worked okay. in i worked in communications all my life in one form or other newspapers magazines um corporate it was in the corporate world mm -hmm. um and always always wanted to write fiction i had written f fiction as a child in school mm -hmm. And somehow along the way, after graduation from high school and going into college, somehow I got too busy to really exercise my imagination and mm -hmm. find the time to put it to paper. Okay. And then several years after I retired, I thought, well, there's no time like the present and the internet, <laughs> cert cert the internet certainly made the world different. Yes, uh, the, world of, <laughs> the world of writing. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, I'll, I'll never, I'll never forget that. I went to a couple of sites where you would look for jobs for work, mm -hmm. and quickly, quickly found work with clients in Singapore and uh, Korea. And I thought, isn't wow. this something? Isn't this something? Uh, and they were all eager for uh, stories in English. And, hmm. uh, and so it was a great way to, and, and, and many of them were, um, so open with me that, uh, that's where I got my, my start with, as a writer with no experience mm -hmm. said, well, let's do it. And I said, sure, I'd be happy to send you my best try, you know, yeah. and the more success I had, the more my confidence, uh, came along and uh, before I knew it, I'd kind of grown out of what I orig originally imagined myself doing to where I'm doing the, the larger works now. I have some I have some plot ideas that are totally uh, removed from this series. Okay, so there's more to come. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. and um, and I and I, I it's, that's another interesting thing. I have plans and every intention to get started on one book in particular that I would really see as the one book that I would pour everything into. But mm -hmm. this, this series of books has always lent itself to the next, the what's next. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and, and a lot of the readers that I've had have uh, been interested in the next installment. So uh, this is going to keep me busy for a while and I'm enjoying <laughs> it. So what the heck? Well, that's important. A, that you enjoy it. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's the best part of writing and you get to make the whole thing up with fiction. So. <laughs> and the, the, one of the things I've most enjoyed from the other interviews was hearing writers talk about, um, you, you, you talk about, do you work with an outline or seat of your pants? Mm -hmm. and, um, yep. And, and I'm very much seat of my pants. I'm an aspiring outline writer. <laughs> <laughs> so you start with an it's, outline, but it looks nothing it's, like it. <laughs> it's, it's my great aspiration, you know. I, 
I get, I get the kernel of, a, of an idea and I say to myself, okay, now if I just sit down mm -hmm. and put some structure to this and work from point A mm -hmm. to point Z, the whole process of doing the book mm -hmm. has got to be easier. But invariably, <laughs> 30 pages in, uh, characters that are living inside of you start to do things you don't anticipate. And things uh, that go is, off the rails. <laughs> that is the most that is the most rewarding part of writing. That when when your characters kind of start to live a life of their own, mm -hmm. and you and you, for instance, might have them in a conversation, mm -hmm. and you are pretty sure of what the next thing is they're going to say, mm -hmm. and suddenly they say something very different, <laughs> and. and uh, uh, th that's probably the greatest joy I get out of writing is when my, when my characters tell me mm -hmm. what they're doing, what they're about to do. It's, uh, it's, it's really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, great. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person in November. We'll have, yeah. you'll have lots of people to network with. We've got a total of 33 authors that will be in attendance and all kinds of fun games and mayhem and <laughs> all of that that funness so yeah i was i was very happy when i found it i found your promotion of it on facebook mm -hmm. and said you know what it's time i did this <laughs> and uh, so i before i did anything else right away i registered and got all signed up and and uh, i've been really looking forward to it ever since so yeah. Well, good. Well, I look forward to seeing you in November and meeting everybody. And it's going to be a good time that's had by all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank you for the time. <laughs> yeah.